Hey, welcome everybody to another version of Frontier Precision Tailgate Tech Talks. We are in the beautiful Waikiki Beach today and we're going to show you how to run an internet rover. Uh, we're going to talk about how the infrastructure, how this all works, but for, for the most part, let's just talk about the rover. What we're using is a is a Verizon MiFi. This, this gets us to the internet. I'm using a TSC7 with running access. So this, the TSC7 connects to the MiFi, the MiFi connects to the internet, and then the, the R10 Model 2 running ProPoint connects to the GPS satellites. All of this con conjunction gives us what's considered an internet RTK rover. Now what we're going to do is talk about how to set it up and, and, take, and take a shot. This is a perfect environment to test this technology because we've got a, a relatively uh, dense canopy. Not You can still see the sky, so it's not a jungle. And what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go through uh, the menu button and I'm going to hit measure. And what the measure does, it lets me set up my RTK survey through the internet. I'm measuring a point and then I pick my what, what GNS uh, information I want to gather. And I've got a couple set up. I've got some set up on one base. I've got a couple set up for my Oahu base that's at my office. And I'm going to stream CMRX, Compact Measurement Records. And I'm going to accept that. Now what it's doing is it's going out through my cell phone or through my MiFi, going out to the internet, connecting to my base, connecting to the correct port of my base, streaming that RTX, or excuse me, CMRX uh, software into my data collector. And now, if you can see on the data collector right now, it's running with horizontal accuracy of nine hundredths of a foot and uh, eleven hundredths of a survey foot. You can kind of see that we are under a pretty good canopy. Now, if, does it take a shot here? Well, well let's 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 make a sh let's see if we can. So, first of all, I'm going to give it a uh, a ground shot, and I'm going to take a quick point. So, does it work here? Observation stored. <laughs> yes, it does. So, thanks again for. Uh, now, we're going to go back to my office and show you the transition or the how to run it. Uh, how to set all this equipment up at the office. Thank you. Hey, welcome everybody to Frontier Precision Hawaii's main office. Now this is where all the magic happens. What we've got here are two different reference stations. We've got an NR9 and an NR5. These reference stations allow us to collect data from the roof. We've got two antennas mounted on the roof and we're collecting data from these antennas to uh, the receivers and then they're providing our TK corrections into the internet. So these two receivers go into our switch and it, it provides internet corrections out to the cloud. We've also got a, another really cool um, piece of technology in here and it's the Intuacom bridge. What the Intuacom bridge does is it does a similar thing that the base stations do. It provides internet corrections but the Intuacom bridge also has a UHF uh, transmission, which means I can transmit on 460, uh, 460 to 470 megahertz UHF out to rovers that have the internal GPS, uh, GNSS uh, radio internal, and they can get centimeter level RTK positions with this Intuacom bridge. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go test this all out into the field. So come on with me, and we'll, I'll show you. Yeah, welcome to Frontier Precision Tech Talk tailgate tech talk series and we're at Waikiki Beach and we're taking shots to make to see if this R10 Model 2 running pro point is allowed to take shots in, the, in these kind of uh, locations and does it does it Does it work here? Observation stored. Yes, it does. Hey, welcome again back into the dense Hawaiian jungle. Does it work here? Yes, it does. 
Yeah, welcome to downtown Honolulu. Does it work here? Observation stored. Yes, it does. Welcome to Hawaii's Frontier Precision Office. We've just seen uh, one of our first tailgate tech talks about TSC-7 running access, R10 Model 2 running ProPoint, internet base. Now, you may ask yourself, do we charge for this? Don, do we charge for this? Not for our customers. Thank you again for tuning in to one of uh, our first tailgate tech talks by Frontier Precision. I'm Brendan O'Neill. Stay tuned for more Frontier Precision tailgate tech talks. Thank you very much.